if we're successful, that means that everybody can be a creator. Um, they are creators already today, but we don't consider everybody to be a creator. My name is Peter Sunde Kolmsopi, and I hate the term, but I'm an entrepreneur, and I uh, build new web tools and services, and right now I'm building Flatter.com. So Flatter is something in between a uh, payment and donation system. Uh, it's more uh, actually the first real money sharing project. The idea is to uh, help people to easily transfer funds between uh, between them uh, for a really in a really easy and cheap way. And it's based on the idea that uh, rather just pay or not pay than having a price tag attached to things. You register as a member on, on Flatter.com and uh, you put in a monthly fee and uh, then you find content you like around the web uh, and uh, you press the Flatter button uh, and that says you like it and in the end of the month we calculate how many buttons you pressed and uh, we share your money between those people equally. So if you press 100 buttons there will be uh, one percentage each. If you press one they will get all of your money. Uh, so it's very binary that you say I like or I don't like or rather I care or I don't care. I think the big, uh, big thing would be that we change the word creator uh, or the definition of it. If we're successful that means that everybody can be a creator. Uh, they are creators already today but we don't consider everybody to be a creator. So I, I think that uh, today with all of the information we have a creator is also the one who participates in, in uh, the discussions surrounding content, so the metadata becomes as important as the data. And uh, that is probably what will change, and uh, I think that the long tail will probably benefit from a system like this, because it was too hard before to give money to things that was in the long tail, because it's, uh, you can't put the price tag on it in the same way you do with big media content, so that changes. Uh, I think, to begin with, it will be traditionally content that has not had a, any sort of you know, real or, or income before at all. Uh, blogging, um, images like photographers might get paid for images they put up for free, uh, and discussions surrounding media, forum entries, uh, if you write a good solution to someone's problem on a forum, they can flatter you, you will get paid for it. And I think those people will benefit most from it in the beginning. In the end, it might also be another income source for uh, bigger media like musicians and, and filmers and so forth. But I'm not sure that this is, that's going to take a while. And I think also that uh, it's just going to be one part, one small part of uh, the bigger content revenue uh, earnings in the future. It must be that uh, the media industry today is very focused on social media and they're still viewing it as a megaphone, another megaphone to use and they're not actually using the social media for what it is. So uh, start participating instead of screaming and yelling like a megaphone because social media and people who participate in social media want to be participatory and they don't want to be yelled at or, or just being treated as that. So stop with that stupid thing and start uh, participating.